October 12th, 2022, Wednesday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not enter the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The Word of the Lord the responsorial psalm. The response is, Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. In the first reading and gospel, we hear strong words against the temptation to judge others. Both readings warn of the consequences of judging others harshly. And while the negative tone of these readings may surprise us, there's a positive invitation implied in these scripture passages. And that is the invitation to live in the spirit, to live daily as a missionary disciple of Jesus. On various occasions, Pope Francis has invited the faithful to live the Christian life as a missionary disciple. Every Christian shares in the evangelizing mission of the church from that first encounter, personal encounter, with the love of God in Christ Jesus. Life is not the same after one experiences God's immense love revealed in Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. From the experience of God's love, Jesus sends his disciples and us on mission to be his laborers for the harvest. Missionary discipleship begins and grows in friendship with Jesus Christ that becomes a source of divine grace, forming and transforming us into disciples in mission. With the grace of baptism, we carry within us the love of God that radiates out to all, to the poor, to those on the social and moral peripheries of society, and to those we might be tempted to judge harshly. To be a missionary disciple is to be attentive 
to the voice of Jesus calling his disciples to a new life of faith in him and to a life of mission. To express faith in acts of kindness, mercy, patience, and charity. This is what it means to live in the spirit, as the first reading notes. For the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's word today invites us to become more and more Christ-like in our thoughts, words, actions, and in our judgments of others. How will we respond to Jesus' invitation today? Have a blessed day.